this while we're looking at the parables of our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember yesterday he talked about how that Satan sows particular people in particular places of influence in order to harm the kingdom work of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that the Lord patiently waits until the time for the judgment to actually rain his wrath upon those people. And uh, that was the meaning of that particular parable. Well, today the parable is about mustard seed. It says, The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field. And this is smaller than all other seeds. It was the smallest in that area. But when it's full grown, it's larger than the garden plants and becomes a tree. Now, when you and I plant mustard in our garden, it's little old leafy things. But in Palestine, mustard plants actually could grow to up to 15 feet. They were large shrubs. And uh, it says all the birds of the air come and nest in its branches. The kingdom is about a little bitty seed that grows into a great big plant and birds nest in its branches. Well, the Jews, of which the apostles were Jews, understood when you talked about a tree or a shrub where birds nested in its branches that you were talking about worldwide influence. In the book of Ezekiel, um, the kingdom of Assyria is described that way. They had worldwide dominance, and it said, speaking of Assyria, the birds of the, of the air came and nested in its branches. And then when the Lord was talking to, to King Nebuchadnezzar through the prophet Daniel, he spoke the same thing about the Babylonian kingdom and said, the birds come and nest in its branches. And so when Jesus is saying the kingdom of God through him is like that mustard plant, that's huge and the birds come and nest in its branches, they knew full well that he was saying worldwide spread, worldwide dominance. Indeed, in God's word, chapter five of the book of Revelation, it says that people are all surrounding the Lord Jesus Christ and praising him for buying them out of death and slavery with his own blood. And it says, people from every nation and tribe and tongue praising him. But you know, it began with a little bitty seed, one single seed. And Jesus was that seed. He spoke of the fact that uh, seed doesn't bear fruit unless it dies and it's put in the ground. And that's exactly what he did. Then he says, if it dies, it bears much fruit. I'm grateful that I'm a part of that fruit through my faith in Jesus Christ. And now there are people in Japan and China and France and Belgium all over the place, like the birds of the air resting in its branches. And one of these days, we're all going to rejoice together and praise the Lord Jesus Christ, who allowed himself to be put to death and put in the ground and rose from the dead to give life to everyone who believes. God bless you real good. All done.